Hi everyone, my name is Mike Anderson and welcome to EcoTraining's first interactive online field obs. A lot of you were asking the other day, there was a post about a little bit of field obs type things and you were really interested and really keen to try and see if you could do one. So we're going to do the very first one that EcoTraining has ever done. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button somewhere there. So what a field observations assessment is, is when we take our students out into the field and see if they've managed to internalize and learn some of the things in a practical sense. So literally seeing and touching and feeling, sometimes even tasting things out in the bush and then from memory being able to tell us a little bit about those things. So the first question is going to be to identify this tree right next to me over here. Now this tree has some interesting features which will help you if you've been watching some of EcoTraining's Flora Fridays. This tree here has spines all over it, randomly all over the branches, okay? Very hard, woody spines. And the leaves are very feathery. These have got compound leaves that are twice divided. Now another name for this tree is a Chinese lantern tree or Chinese lantern bush because the beautiful flowers that hang down that are pink and yellow that look like Chinese lanterns hanging down. So normally with the field obs we try and give a nice uh, assortment of different types of things from tracks to bird calls, trees, flowers, plants, all that kind of stuff. Today the light is not so great, so we're not going to be doing tracking because you need a bit of sunlight to show the shadows on the tracks. So we're going to stick mostly to flowers, plants, trees and some bird calls. The next question, question number two, is to identify this tree right over here. Now this tree has also some very interesting features that will really help you to identify it. It's got zigzag branches all the way along here. You can see the branches are in a zigzag pattern. And at each of the zigs and at each of the zags, there is a straight thorn and a hooked thorn. The leaves themselves have three veins from the base and an asymmetric structure. So they're not, they can't fold them in half easily. And they're also edible, these leaves, and quite tasty. Like a spicy rocket salad. Very delicious, very nutritious. Traditionally, it's believed that this tree is immune to lightning. So if you put it up on your roof, you will be safe from any lightning strikes. What tree is it? Great little flower that pops up all over the place in the summertime, right over here. Likes to grow in amongst vegetation where it's shady and moist. And distinctively, they have two large petals and one very small petal. And oftentimes, there's a pouch that's underneath the flower which can be filled with water. So it can be used for a number of things from eye drops to drinking water. Here comes a drop coming out. See, a little bit of water. But what flower is this? Listen, listen. Can you hear that bird? Probably just flying above the treetops there. Listen. What bird is that? Very important to know in the bush. That bird can stop you from bumping into a buffalo or maybe a rhino that's resting somewhere in those bushes there. What bird is that? There's, a, there's an animal calling just behind us in the thickets just over there. Just listen for a second. It seems like it's calling from quite low down in the bushes. Now this animal is quite small. It is technically classed as a rodent and it's an omnivore although people think that it just eats nuts and, and things and seeds and fruits but they can eat a whole bunch of different things and they're also very vocal when they see danger that alarm for anything from snakes to mongooses eagles even a leopard walking along it will be alarming usually sitting up a bit high if it's something on the ground or down low if it's something in the air Well done everyone who said Sicklebush, Dicrostachus cinerea. Um, fantastic tree to know in the bush, very colorful in the summer. Awesome job. 
If you said it is a buffalo thorn, you are correct. Zizifus macronata, one of the most common trees here, and an excellent tree to know in the bush. This bright blue flower is called a blue commonina. If you guys picked up on that bird, you might just be able to avoid a confrontation with a buffalo that might be in those bushes there. That was a red-billed oxpecker. It's one of the most important birds that we need to know as guides. In fact, so important that we often tell our students every time they hear that bird, they need to point at the sky and say, Oxpecker! If you said that that was a tree squirrel, you would be absolutely correct. Very noisy bird. See, even I said it was a bird. People often think that it's a bird. Very noisy, chittering sound. And it's something definitely worth following up uh, when you are looking for something like a leopard or to go and investigate if you think there might be a snake around, often accompanied by loads of birds if there's a snake. Really cool animal to see and watch. Well done, everyone. I think I really enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. And I'd love to know how you did on this field, OBS. Uh, you know, it can be quite tricky, but remember everything that you got right is something that you probably didn't know before you started following us through eco training or watching some of these videos. So really happy and proud for you. And if you'd like more videos like this, then please drop us some comments and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well.